Hey Sammy, Coach Nelson. Uh, hope all's well. Uh, I'll give you a quick video analysis here. Uh, throw this up on YouTube for you and send you the link. Um, looking at uh, your starting spot here, uh, things look pretty darn good. Uh, love the new hand position right there. Um, it's going to set you up for a good load, I think. Um, again, notice we've got knee inside, knee inside, good starting spot. Um, couple, one thing I noticed just a little bit, um, if you take a look at your angle of your back foot there, you see how it's away a little bit, a little bit duck footed. Um, you might want to turn that a little bit more straight on. Um, that would be my advice. Uh, just makes it a little bit easier to clear the hips. Um, I think I've got something else for you a little bit later on here uh, that's going to help help you clear your hips a little bit. Um, the starting position set definitely is is pretty good. So uh, let's take a look at this as we move on. Um, so you've got a nice sinking action into the back leg. And I see you've got a little bit more of a leg kick there. That's all right. It's not a problem. It's just a timing mechanism. As long as you get down on time, you're okay. Uh, be careful there. Um, you can see that that knee is starting to get a little bit over the foot. And again, uh, the foot is kind of pointed out duck-like. Uh, we would want that level or maybe just a little bit in um, if possible. So, um, But all in all, it looks pretty good right there. Let's, see, let's take us up to uh, landing position here to heel strike. And you can see we've got a much, much better hand position. Um, I like it a lot. Uh, good improvement there. Um, I would caution you against getting any higher than that. I think that your hands could come down just a little bit again in the, to help you get on plane. Um, but the improvement is, is pretty significant from what we've seen. Um, one other thing I want to point out to you. Uh, there's your bad angle. Not too bad. But remember, if we picture um, like a catcher, and I'm going to make a really weak attempt at art here. Um, there's your catcher. Um, ideally, you would want that bat angle a little bit more uh, towards the catcher's head. So I think you've got just a little bit too much angle on your bat there. Um, so perhaps if we saw it a l slightly more up and down, um, I think that would take, take away a little bit of the distance that your bat's having to travel while also allowing you to keep the power that you're probably generating right now. Um, but it's much better than it was before. If you recall before, um, your hands were like way up here and, uh, that was, that was creating a really steep angle. Um, I'm going to send you to a website. Um, that I came across today that shows a picture of Babe Ruth um, or a video of Babe Ruth and his hands kind of stay in this area they go back and then they go forward towards the ball and they're really really low um, and I think you might want to take a look at that because the low hands they just allow you you, know, you still are going to have this sort of an angle towards the ball um, and the quicker you can get on plane, and remember, plane is not level, plane is not down, plane is slightly up, right, because the ball is coming in slightly down. So the ball is coming in at about uh, 9 degrees down, so you want to be, if you could be 9 degrees up, uh, the sooner you can get there, the the more you're going to be on plane with the ball. So, um, but you know, again, a lot of improvements here on on your hitting position. So keep up the good work there. Um, heel goes down, heel goes up. Excellent. Um, I would love to see more separation here. I think you can get that. Um, I think that you you're open, but you I think you can get a little bit. You're open with the hips. Shoulders are pretty closed, but I think that if we can get hips to here when the upper body is still here um, I think you're going to see a lot more power and I think some of that just comes from uh, I think I think it'll come from a little bit of yoga um, a little bit of just separation work that kind of thing um, the thing I wanted to point out to you is this 
check out that front foot. And you see the angle of that front foot on landing. Um, and what I think that does is I think that that keeps your hips from being able to, to rotate quickly. Um, if you watch a lot of professional hitters, and especially the older hitters, guys like Ted Williams, guys like Willie Mays, guys like uh, Babe Ruth, um, their foot, when it lands, the front foot, is at more of a 45, or even some guys are straight on. Um, you know, a guy like, like Mickey Mantle, his foot was almost pointed straight towards the pitcher. And as long as this stays closed, as long as your shoulders stay closed, um, you're fine opening this up a little bit more, a little bit more of an angle, because that'll allow your hips to clear just a little bit quicker. Um, so that's one thing I think that you could definitely improve on. Um, you know, you see here you've got your back foot up. Excellent. Um, you're starting to get onto plane. And I think you're getting on plane a little bit sooner than you used to. Um, contact position looks good. Um, you're going to see at the end um, kind of an exaggerated uh, backwards lean. But if you look at the contact position here, um, you've got that front stiff leg. This is okay. I might like that a little bit more open. Um, but all in all, I think that, um, that it's pretty good there. Uh, contact position is good. You're hitting off of a stiff front leg. You've had a pretty good weight shift, but look, you can see those hips are still not quite totally cleared. Um, and I think that just giving us a little bit more open on that front foot, maybe like a 45, um, if you're comfortable with that, will allow the hips to clear just a little bit easier. Um, and then their follow through, I'm not too concerned about, but it looks pretty good. So. Again, going back, things I would look to fix, two in particular, that back foot I would put at, at a, a directly at the plate or a little bit in. Again, that will help your hips clear. Um, and then on your, on your landing position, uh, I think we could still come down a little bit so that we're on plane a little bit sooner. Um, and then... As the foot lands, I might want it at a 45 degree angle to allow these to open up a little bit more as long as the shoulders stay closed. If the shoulders don't stay closed, then opening up the hips, then opening this up to open the hips is actually going to be detrimental. So you've got to be really careful with that. But um, I do, I like the changes that you've made. Um, hope you keep up the good work and don't be shy to send me more of them. Thanks a lot, Sammy. Bye.